As a developer, you know you always need to keep your tools up to date. In this section, we'll see how to install the Android SDK to keep your development machine running smoothly with the latest version of the Android development tools. So when you set up your development machine, you'll run the Xamarin Unified Installer. Now on Windows, you'll need Visual Studio installed. Now on Mac OS, the installer will include Visual Studio for Mac. And the installer puts all of the prerequisites onto your machine. Now, this includes the Android requirements, so namely the Java JDK and the Android SDK. And it also installs the Xamarin specific requirements, which are Xamarin, Android, and Mono. Now when updates are available, the Xamarin components will proactively notify you, and this makes it easy to keep the Xamarin parts of your install up to date. And the JDK is fairly stable and updates are rarely needed. Now the Android SDK is updated, well, rather frequently. However, it will not notify you when those updates are released, and you will need to check for updates manually. Now in order to target the latest versions, you'll need to have the correct versions of the Android developer tools installed. This includes two key things. We have the SDK platform, which contains all of the libraries you need to compile against. This includes both the Java and Android types. And the tools. Now this includes a long list of Android tools that are used to build and run your applications. Android versions can be identified by three things. The code name, the Android version number, and the API level. Now the code name indicates major revisions, but it's not really enough to specifically identify a version. And also notice that the code names increase in alphabetical order. Now the version number indicates releases of the Android OS. And each big release typically gets a new major version number. And then Android occasionally gets minor releases with fixes and incremental feature improvements. Now notice the code name can span multiple versions, as in the case of Jellybean. Now as developers, we're typically mostly interested in the third one, that's the API level. Now the API level identifies the API that we can code against for that version of Android. Now higher levels bring new APIs and may even require code changes when older APIs are deprecated. APIs are backwards compatible, but newer APIs will only be usable on the newer devices. Now we have the Android SDK Manager, and this is a GUI tool from Google, and this helps you keep the Android SDK up to date on your development machine, and lets you install new versions of every part of that Android SDK. Both Visual Studio for Mac and Visual Studio on Windows have menu entries to let you launch the Android SDK Manager. And the SDK Manager allows us to install and update all of the components in the Android SDK. Now, we'll primarily use it to update the SDK platform and tools. Now, Android splits the Android tools into three logical groups, and they can be updated independently. And these tools are generally backwards compatible. Now, new versions of Xamarin and Android may require the latest tools, so it's recommended to install and update when available. And if you have issues compiling or maybe trouble with the Android designer, this is a great thing to check. Make sure you've got the latest version of the tools installed. Now to target a specific Android release, you'll want to install the SDK platform for the corresponding API level. Now again, the SDK platform is backwards compatible, so generally your application should always build against the latest version. You'll still be able to target and deploy your applications to devices running previous versions. Now we've talked about how new APIs are added in higher versions and the platform SDKs are backwards compatible. So now I wanna show you a technique for writing version adaptive code. In this example, we only want to attempt to perform a value animator animation when it's supported on the device. So we can programmatically inspect the installed version of Android by checking build.version. And we can check the base OS, the OS code name, or the version number as a string and then branch our code as needed. And this allows us to take advantage of the latest APIs while still maintaining backwards compatibility.